This right here might be the worst designed building in all of Europe. It is the National Library of Pristina here in Kosovo. Today we're gonna to be exploring some of the more peculiar sites of this really weird city. Let's go check it out. Kosovo. We are here. We're here in the country slash disputed territory of Kosovo. I want to make it very clear right now that this video is purely to show you guys some of the cool and weird things that happen and look like here in Pristina, Kosovo, the capital of this place. We are not here to talk politics. That being said, I've been here for about a day and this city is freaking awesome. Having a lot of fun. I'm actually couch surfing right now and I'm coming to you live from the top of the apartment of one of the people I'm couch surfing at. But today we're going to head on into there, into the city of Pristina and show you guys some weird, wacky, cool and exciting things that the city has to offer, including one of the weirdest buildings in all of Europe, in my opinion. And we're gonna do one thing before we continue this video, and that is, roll the intro. What are we doing? We're in Pristina. Hey, that's where we are. A few things I want to mention about Pristina before we continue exploring is that it's not the fanciest city in the world. No. It's not beautiful, it's not intricate, it's not designed well, but it is really cool. Uh, it's It's got a lot of flavor and it's got a lot of like, uh, it's got a vibe to it. When you get here, you immediately feel it. And so that's what we're going to try to explore today. We're going to a really cool site that's very close to where we're couch surfing, which is the Grand Bazaar, I think it's called. And uh, let's go find out what it looks like. We have made it now to the main entrance of the bazaar. There you go. There you go. So essentially what a bazaar is, a bazaar is pretty much just a market. That's how they call markets here in this region of the world. And we're just going to walk through. Take a little look, see what, see what we can find in here. One of the really interesting things about traveling here in Pristina is that you can tell that this city does not get much tourism. We're definitely looked at, especially when we're filming. But here you can find classic electronics, shoes, fruits, vegetables, whatever you want. Uh, but it's, it's really cool to be just traveling around a place that does not get tourism. Like, there are rarely tourists here. Most of the people walking around are locals. And it, it's just, it's a great feeling to be amongst these people. Here's a really good look at what the aesthetic looks like in a lot of times in Pristina. Hello. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Making a video. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> first time in. First, first time in Pristina, yeah. Pristina, okay. yeah. Where you come from? USA. Okay. Yeah. Good, Me and my friend. As you can tell, locals are very, very friendly here because they don't get a lot of tourists. But th what I was trying to say is the aesthetic here. This is a lot of the aesthetic in Pristina. It looks a lot like this. It's, it's not upkept like to a beautiful degree, and it's not like super luxurious, but it's real and it's cool. And, uh, Where you come from? USA. How you doing, bro? Good. How are you doing? All right. Enjoying yourself in Kosovo. Yeah. Where are you from? Kosovo. Kosovo? <laughs> Albanian. Nice. But I was in Australia a few years. Cool. I was gonna say your accent, accent sounds Australian. Australian. <laughs> I was like, what is the accent? <laughs> you got more more examples of friendly locals here. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> we all speak English. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. It's cool that we get to communicate with a lot of people here. Yeah. yeah. Everything you need, we got here. What do you love most about Pristina? Everything. It's cozy, it's beautiful. My house is just next to here. You got everything here. It's a beautiful city. It's little, but it's beautiful. I agree. I agree 100%. All right, so we actually popped out of the bazaar. Uh, I ended up filming an impromptu entire vlog in there, so please make sure you watch that if you're watching this video, because I think it's pretty cool. You can see the interactions with locals and stuff. That was fun. But now we're going to head off to one of the more obscure sites here in the city. Let's go do it. of this video we were hanging out at the library now we are at the footsteps of the National Library of Kosovo right now we're about to head in this thing is designed really really strangely I don't know how to explain it it's got a bunch of bumps all over the outside and a sort of metal gate on the outside as well very interesting weird looking building we're about to head inside I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film on my camera so I'm gonna have to switch my phone but let's go check it out all right guys and we have our two local friends that are showing us around today Valmir which we actually met through a friend who we're couch surfing with he's been showing us around and 
Elena, who we met on the street while petting a dog. Hi. She's really interesting. So they just joined us today, walking around, we're exploring, but we're about to head into the library right now. So we're on the inside right now. Very different design on the inside than the outside. And you can see those big old white domes that we see on the outside are actually used for the lighting in this building. You see a perfect example of that right here. All those domes are just used to light the interior of this building in a super cool way. It's a very, very cool building, but a lot of people agree that it might be one of the ugliest buildings in Europe. Yeah, it's a sign like lots of weird stuff. You have different stuff, you have food. Mm. All right, so here in the complex of where the library is, we also have this Serbian Orthodox Church. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this place is controversial. We're going to show it to you guys, but it's not, I'm not taking any sides here. We're just here to show you guys stuff to do in Kosovo, here in Pristina. There's things to see. This is one of them, especially since it's so close to one of the weirdest and ugliest buildings in Europe. So you have these little monkey bars, and then you have this church over here. I'm gonna go check it out. This is the Serbian Orthodox Church that sits here in the middle of Pristina. It makes for a very, very strange dynamic because it's unfinished. It sits here completely unfinished. Also, it's closed off to any public entry. You're not even really supposed to walk here because I was told that if you do, it stirs up some, you know, political and, you know, religious chaos if you try to enter this building. So it's, it's all closed off and it's unfinished. It just sits here. Um, and it sits right next to the library that we saw. And when you see this place from up above, especially some of the drone shots that I saw, you, you see how strange this place looks. It's a very open green field. It kind of looks a little off-putting. It's a little weird. I don't really know how to explain it. It's a very strange looking area. Um, the fact that it just kind of sits here. Uh, you know, the church is right next to it, so you might as well check it out if you are here. And uh, that's my two cents on it. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Hi guys, my name is Elena and this is today's vlog. Kosovo does with stray dogs is that they tag stray dogs on their ear and then they like give them antibiotics, feed them a little bit and make sure that they're happy and healthy for human interaction. And so you'll see tons of stray dogs with these little tags on their ears that you can actually pet and interact with. And we've been doing this all day. This is like the fifth stray dog we've hung out with. Um, some of them are friendlier than others. Some of them will come up to you and let them pet them. This one, maybe not. Maybe yes. Oh. Oh, hello. Come here. Come here. Come here, puppy. You can pet stray dogs here. Because they're not like truly, truly stray. They're actually pretty safe to hang out with. So if you see a tag on their ear similar to this one, you can pet them and interact with them. Obviously use caution with any animal that you're petting in the world ever. It doesn't matter if it's an eagle or a dog. But it's a cool thing that you can do here in Pristina. So we have arrived. We're kind of on the edge of the city a little bit. Uh, walking on this side over here, there's actually this abandoned railway with really cool graffiti. It was like a art installation that opened up like a month ago. But back here, this is like the entrance to the gymnasium slash stadium slash zoo, all that stuff I was talking about earlier. And it's uh, it's pretty dilapidated. A little bit. <laughs> From the outside, it's a little crusty. <laughs> to be honest, it looks like it hasn't been renovated in a while. That's like a lot of buildings here in Pristina though. Um, a lot of them, the infrastructure is just kind of falling apart and a lot of things are overgrown. Look at this. There's just weeds growing through the cracks. So I thought it'd be cool to walk up here a little bit, see if we can get a nice vantage point. As we actually ran into these stray dogs yesterday, I was talking about how you can pet stray dogs here. Some of them have tags. These guys don't have tags, but they were, we ran into that guy yesterday. He was super friendly. It's very Maybe scary. Maybe this is his mom. The guys kind of look similar. Hey, boops. Hey, boops. Hey. Who's precious? Who's precious? Who's a precious pup? Are you jealous? You want some hugs? You want some hugs? Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. He's a dancing dog. And you're a good dog. Yeah, this building is abandoned from what I saw. You can't enter this. And it's all like, graffiti on the outside. The design's really interesting. It looks a lot like from what I've seen from communist sort of architecture. I could be wrong about that, but that's what it kind of looks similar to. This architecture style is called brutalist. It's, you'll find in the Balkan region different buildings made with brutalist architecture. It's made to look more rough and a lot of concrete and metal. It doesn't look too beautiful, but it's brutalist, like brutal. <laughs> brutalist. But yes, expect this out of Kosovo. Expect this out of Pristina. It's a lot of this. It seems like people are using this building as like a structure or a walkway to get across to another place. Yeah, if you come across here, you can tell how sort of like 
run down and abandoned this whole place is. Yeah, look at that on the inside. And for one, it says on Google Maps, it says it's a gymnasium, which it kind of looks like from the inside. All right, so we've made it through the building. It doesn't look like it's abandoned. Over there, there's an active gym. You can hear volleyball being played. Yeah, it's definitely not abandoned, but this might part be. of it is run down, and there's just this. Oh, it's a car park now. So this is an old stadium that has turned into a car park. At least I think it's a stadium. It looks like the setup for one. Yeah. Definitely was. And yeah, you got a lot of cars. I can't even tell you guys how much of a great find this was for the video. I was not expecting this to look like this on the inside. It just looks super run down. But the funny thing is, because it is Pristina, it is Kosovo, it's still in use. Like half of it is still in use. But that he just got a lot of this, which is just a lot of that. And it smells a little funky it in here. Like urine. Yeah, it smells like oh, We just found an entrance to the volleyball stadium that's being used. You have a volleyball stadium here. All right, so not abandoned. Well, kind of. It's like half abandoned. Really half weird. abandoned, half not abandoned. It's like an abandoned building that's being used. <laughs> if you like abandoned stuff, but you also like really nice stadiums, <laughs> you got both in there. So check it out when you're here in Pristina. We're going to head off to another weird little location. All right, my friends, we have made it to the site that is probably the weirdest for me and Steve particularly. This is so interesting. <laughs> this is Bill Clinton Boulevard. They love Bill Clinton over here because of the historical things that happened that I can't get into in this video. This is a statue to Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton has his own boulevard, which is this boulevard, which has a lot of shopping, commerce, restaurants, a lot of things going on. And there's this giant American flag just draping down with the 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton here. Very, very strange to just see this, especially seeing all the American flags around uh, Pristina. I'm actually seeing this right now to the corner of my eye. Can you see Mrs. Hillary right down there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is down there as well. <laughs> so, you got Bill Clinton Boulevard down here. I really don't know what else to say because I can't give you guys a history as to why this is here. But, uh, yeah, this is it. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton Boulevard and the Bill Clinton statue. Amazing. Very strange, but amazing. All right, my friends, and right next to the monument, there's actually a store called Hillary, which has a picture of Hillary Clinton on the side, but it's basically a store that just sells pantsuits, which is incredible that there's a store dedicated to Hillary Clinton that just sells pantsuits right next to the Bill Clinton. This is the best thing I've ever seen. It's pretty ridiculous. I love you, Kosovo. I want to say a big thank you to the people who made our exploration here in Kosovo so amazing. I didn't get to put them in the video, but Talant and Chandresa, the people who hosted us here on Couchsurfing, were amazing. And they made our experience here in Kosovo absolutely incredible. We got to learn so much about the history. Uh, as well, if you guys aren't interested in Couchsurfing when you come to a place like this, I have an Airbnb link down below in the description right now. I'll give you $40 off your first stay here. So if you're not as adventurous to stay with somebody that you don't know on Couchsurfing, make sure that you use that Airbnb link. If you're coming into Pristina, it'll be a cool way for you guys to experience the city in a different way. And if you can tell, this video is coming to an end. So I want to tell you guys your Albanian word of the day today which is going to be falim which means thank you make sure to also follow mr steve down there because we are bouncing off to our next country here in the balkan region right now we're leaving kosovo and that's the end of the video i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys a long time goodbye clats